Let's take a look at how images are recorded on a microscope. Images are formed on a microscope by projecting a real image onto the camera sensor. Let's imagine that we have a sample on the left here. Light from the sample is collected by an objective lens. It is then focused using a series of other lenses onto a camera sensor. The camera sensor itself consists of a grid of light sensing pixels. Let's take a closer look at how this works. On the left here, we have an image that represents what the sample looks like. Now, as I was saying, the light from the sample is projected onto a camera sensor, which consists of a grid of pixels. Each pixel measures the amount of light that falls upon it, and this gives us the image. Now, by definition, the image resolution, or sometimes called the effective pixel size, is the area of the sample that is projected onto a single pixel. In other words, it is the area of the sample that is imaged by a single pixel on the camera. Let's now take a look at how a single pixel works. So like I was saying, each pixel measures the amount of light that falls upon it during the exposure period. This light intensity is then converted into electrons by the camera pixel. And this can be read out as volts. Now, of course, the voltage is continuous with intensity, but to be able to store this data on the computer, we have to digitize it. The voltage is then read out and digitized using an analog to digital converter. This device converts the continuous voltage into discrete levels, which are called gray levels. And this forms the digital data, which is then read by the computer. Now, it is important to note that due to the way the analog to digital converter works, a range of intensities are converted into a single gray level. So in other words, you can think of each gray level as a bin of intensities falling on the pixel. And just to clarify what I mean by digital data, the output of the analog to digital converter is an unsigned integer. And the computer will store this data as an array of numbers. Now the number of gray levels or the number of bins that are supported by the camera is called the bit depth. The bit depth is the number of bits used to digitize the intensity. On this slide, I have examples of four different bit depths. As you can see, a two bit image can only have four different values and therefore can only have four different shades of gray. A four bit image can have 16 different values. An eight bit image can have 256 different values. And a 16 bit image can have 65,536 different values. Now it should be obvious that as you increase the bit depth, image appears smoother in intensity. Let's have a look at how the bit depth affects the appearance of the image. On the left is an image that has a bit depth of 2. You can see that with only 4 colors, there isn't a lot of detail in the image. A lot of the shading on the lines are gone. With a 4-bit image, we can now have 16 different colors, so the image appears a little bit smoother. But you can still see a few artifacts. There are regions in the image that appear to have the same value, and we lose any subtle features. An 8-bit image supports 256 different values and looks much smoother. The 16-bit image is even smoother, although we are now starting to reach the limit of what our vision can tell apart. However, it makes a big difference when you look at the raw data. Hopefully, it should be clear that the higher the bit depth, the finer the steps of intensity, and the better we can detect subtle changes in intensity, such as dim cells or organelles. Just a quick summary of the terms that we have introduced in this video. First, a pixel is a sampled data point and is stored as an element in a matrix. The pixel value or the intensity is the numerical value of a pixel in the image. This number represents the amount of light falling on that pixel. Now, the physical pixel size, or sometimes called the effective pixel size or image resolution, is the region of the original sample that is projected on the single pixel of the camera. And finally, the bit depth is the number of bits used to quantize the intensity.